All right, so on Plan Swift, once you have told the program where the files are for the drawings you're going to be using um, to set up an estimating template, per se, uh, you go into the Estimating tab, and then over here is the icon for a new folder. And this way, once you're doing a takeoff, you can keep it separated by CSI division, which... Um, will make it a little bit easier for you to make a report once you're done with the takeoff per division. So that way it's a little bit to sort, a little bit easier to sort through and make sure you're not forgetting anything on your estimate sheet. So first you set up the divisions to, let's see, where is my cursor? All right, so there it is at the bottom. Every time you make a new folder like this, you have to, uh, there you go. It's disappearing. Anyhow, division two is existing conditions. That's where you can add demo, things like that. For this particular project, I don't have all 33 CSI divisions. So I'm only gonna input what I know for sure I'm gonna need. And later on, I can add any more folders as I see fit. So I'll probably be using uh, moisture and a heat protection. This is where you can add your sealants, um, insulation, things like that. Eight for openings in case there are any windows or doors. One of the main ones I use all the time is Division 9 for finishes. This is for everything from uh, gypsum wallboard partitions to finishes as plaster, paint, things like that. Another common one is 26 for electrical. And for the type of work that I do mainly, uh, the electrical sub also takes on the communications. So data drops, things like that. So once you have this, you can, uh, you can continue to your homepage for a drawing. And let's see. Oh, I, I, I forgot to add a, a really popular one as well. 12 furnishings. And on that one, Keynote 6, for example, I already know that to the type of work that we do, this is probably going to be a furniture relocation. So, here you add the count and then you just name it whatever is easy for you. Relocate to warehouse or even better, relocate desk to warehouse. Uh, and then you can specify all these other items here. I usually don't bother. This is like a, a high level type of uh, take off so i don't want to spend too much time customizing everything i can in here plan swift is a really powerful tool uh, but you don't want to get carried away with the minutiae of things uh, especially if all you're doing is some quick estimates you know uh, to minimize the overhead all you need is uh, a quick count of the items you need to include in your estimate what i do utilize all the time is this folder option from the drop down now, all the folders that we uh, created in the estimating tab are shown here. So then now you can add furnishings to this. And now you have a tally of what you need to relocate. And you click the, the keynote just so that it's easy to refer back to if need be. And that's essentially how you do account. If you wanted to do, uh, 
let's see what is the we do have a scale and that's another very useful tool that i like on on PlanSwift. you can simply use the scale drop down and since we already know what it is we can utilize that and now let's say we need to build this new partition wall right here well you can simply utilize the linear tool and use the the wall area and it gives us a few more options here let's see let's say the wall height is 10 feet and we have to put drywall on both sides so we need two times the amount of drywall and the width is a standard five and a half inches so we can put this in finishes and then now you can simply take off that that wall and over here it'll tell you approximately how many square feet of drywall that will take so that's a very useful tool and um, this summarizes a quick overview i wanted to do for you please leave a comment down below if you if you think this was helpful if not if you have any other questions about plan swift i'll be happy to upload other short videos as uh, requests are coming in thanks